You're listening to the Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast. We're powered up by Fanatics. And we want to bring to you uh, Caitlin Clark beat uh, the L.A. Sparks last night. And, and man, oh, man, was it done in supreme fashion. And, uh, you know, I'll move that to Jay. I'll move her to call her Caitlin Clark the sniper. Or I don't know if I want to call her Caitlin Clark Wyatt Earp. Uh, there's a couple ways I want to go with this, but after watching that last night and seeing a 40 foot shot, uh, just take her down and looking at that collectively, uh, folks, you got, you got to really ask yourself, you know, when she is shooting that ball and when Clayton Clark is doing things on the floor, I, I got to really look at this and say, you know, last couple games, I saw something, I looked inside and looked deep. And what I saw Caitlin Clark do uh, for the last couple games, she kind of pulled herself out of the offense and started executing with the teammates and not so much focused on shots. Now, here, here's what that done for the second game. Uh, they came back, came back in the end, but the launch of the 40-foot shots, folks, what I'm talking about, when you're, when you're sniping out 40-foot shots, uh, that's a different game. And what that showed me right there, I mean, I'll call it like what it is. I mean, they call it the W. I'm used to calling it the league, but uh, that's a mean streak in a player. Uh, Caitlin Clark has a streak in her, and this is not a shot, folks, that you take when you're trying to get the game winner, and you're going to just pop and just take the shot. This is a premeditated, if it comes back around to me and I get the space, I'm going to drop the shot. And that is about 38, 40 feet away from the basket. That you can't really cover. Now, here, here's what I did notice about the Indiana Fever. And how did they execute last night? I mean, Mitchell, uh, Kelsey Mitchell had an outstanding ball game, just daggered in a couple shots. And here, here's where I'm going with Caitlin Clark is a sniper, wired up. When you start doing things that, are not normal on the court. Those back-to-back -back shots are not normal. Now, here's what we're not seeing. We're not getting a chance to see Caitlin Clark run off a pin down. We haven't had an opportunity to see either accept the screen, reject the screen, fade back, you know, float back to the corner, knock those. I mean, if if you put that in and Christy Sides put that in, I mean, that, that'll give you a whole nother balance where that's going to be it, make it tougher to cover. Uh, I'm still a I'm still a fan of looking at it and saying that uh, I really do like Kelsey Mitchell at the one, and they can intertwine that. But I'd like to see them take the load off of Caitlin Clark's legs because here's what you got. I mean, obviously Clark had a good game last night, uh, executed, got teammates involved, but Kelsey Mitchell can run that. But when you get late in the game and you need big shots, I mean, we haven't seen Caitlin Clark knock down the corner three. And again, we haven't seen it back door. There's so much more that you can add to this. Now, what happened last night? You had Christy Sides didn't go very deep. She went eight deep in the lineup. But here's who came up big. Uh, Timmy uh, Fabine just came in there. Benlay just came in there and executed. Now, here's the difference between her and Boston. If you want to look at collectively, she can run the floor a little bit better, so it gives you twin towers you can run, and you can run Boston on the trail because Boston likes getting the ball around the elbow, somewhere around there. She can execute well from there. So you had a lot of options. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give Christy sides her flowers because Christy executed something out last night and the sparks i'll tell you they have some talent um and if you look at it i'll tell you a future superstar rakia jackson that's a ball player and when you look at it from the inside out what she can and cannot do showed up big last night and really when they came down to it i mean she was unstoppable now, when you get down to the truth of the game and what's happening in the game and how they're executing it out, if you look at the plus minus, Mitchell was a plus 12. That That's big time. Okay, that's execution on the floor. Caitlin Clark and Wallace came out plus three, and you're going to come out there as Boston a plus four. But you're going to go, Fabian Benley is going to come out there at a plus 15. That's huge on the floor, and that is something... You can't replace that. So if you look at Mitchell at plus 12, 
and you come down here, you're coming in at plus 15 for a post player. Now, the difference between her and Boston, she runs the floor a little bit better. So when you get to Christie's side, you found the lineup. Now can we go deeper with this? Because I'm going to tell you, Caitlin Clark, boy, oh, boy, that's a sniper. And uh, what is Money Mike? This is the Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast. We're powered up by Fanatics. What am I actually saying when I say a sniper? You got an individual that can shoot it from just about anywhere on the floor. Now, this is also an individual who's not afraid to pull the trigger, okay, who has kind of tipped in a lot of, I wouldn't say smack talk, crap talk. Everybody's kind of fitting in. But I tell you what, got a photographic memory. And if you give her some distance, I don't care where it is. That's a problem because that's going to open up. And, wow, you can do a lot off of that. And, again, we haven't seen Caitlin Clark in the pin down. We haven't seen her coming off curls. We haven't seen her accept the reject the screen. We haven't seen any of that. So if you look at what she did last night, now we're talking triple-double, okay? Because if we want to get back to Caitlin Clark, you're going to look at it. You got 11 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, okay? Didn't shoot it well from the floor, but when you start adding that back in, if she goes 10 for 14, Folks, you're going to jump that back on up the ladder and go in two for nine. What if she goes seven for nine? You had 15 more, 15, three, five, three pointers, going to give you 15 more points. That's going to turn to 26. You got a battle going in, and who's going to be rookie of the year? Okay, is it going to be Caitlin Clark? Okay, that's a great question. Is it going to be Christy Brink? Is it going to be Angel Reese? Okay, who is it? Or is it going to be Rikia Jackson? You got some rookies that are going to battle this out too. Where do I see the fever coming? I think they got a little bit more work to do. However, they're working in progressively in the right direction. Is this going to change? Yes, because Caitlin Clark is a sniper, uh, better known as Wyatt Earp. Okay, it all stops now, and that's what she showed. Now, that confidence is going to build. You got Boston finally let it out, said, hey, this has been a tragic trauma, traumatic situation. She got that out. She's playing ball, and then you've got who is out there running the floor. Now, that changes things because she can run the floor up and down at the five. She's going to have to finish those layups. Obviously, that's going to get worked on. And you got Boston's going to run the trail. So you got a triangle. You got Mitchell coming in there with confidence. It took that in the press conference the other night. We've done enough talking. Let's just play. So uh, you got to ask yourself, where is this going to end or how is it going to end? I don't know, but uh, they found a rhythm, and we'll see what's going to happen next. But I'll take it back to Clayton Clark. This is a sniper, folks. And when you want to really talk about it, who is she? What is she capable of doing? Okay, she's got confidence. Okay, she's coming in there. She's bringing the cockiness. And she's got a photographic memory of everything that happened. I've seen the Seattle storm not shake hands. None of that will be forgotten with Caden Clark. She's going to deal with it accordingly. And I'd say get ready because this one here is going to get different. This one here is going to get good. You're listening to the Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast. And who's going to be the rookie of the year? It's going to be Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, Christy Brink. Okay, you got Jackson. I mean, you got a whole list of rookies that are starting to shine. So the WNBA or the W, should I say, not the league, the W, is shining bright and is going to continue to shine, and we're going to see where it's going to go. But we're enjoying each and every moment of it, and this is the Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast. We're powered up by Fanatics, and we'll see you soon because this is going to get better and better, and the only way it's going to end up is it going to be one champion. And is the Aces going to hold it down or somebody in Liberty's coming? But the WNBA shining. We'll see you soon.